Here is our community center proposal for the city of Sandy Springs. The problem given to us by Georgia Power is to create a sustainable and energy efficient community center on a million dollar budget. This center must be at least 15,000 square feet and have a positive impact on the community. To begin this project, we started with some research. We visited a local community center run by CAC. We interviewed people who were involved in the operations of the CAC. So we learned the operations of the CAC, of course, and we determined the importance of the services provided. We felt that we could make some of CAC's services more efficient, so we decided to curate some solutions in order to allow us to do just that. And budgeting was an integral part of this. Uh, we had to find out how much different materials would cost per the square units, and what techniques we could use to further optimize the budget of our build. So our plan, 200 by 500 feet, a uh, community center hosting a bunch of amenities, including a food bank, education, career center, multiple conference rooms that could be rented out to people, library, gym, and some child care services. We also heavily emphasize recreation with this community center. Uh, so we have courts for different sports, basketball, tennis, soccer, and a large garden with some beekeeping amenities as well. For the design of this community center, we used a full 20 acres given to us in the Georgia Power Challenge. In that space, we were able to include a lot of amenities, such as the center itself, a nice large parking lot, walking paths throughout the area. We have four soccer fields, three basketball courts, three tennis courts, and a large garden, along with beekeeping for pollination around the area. And then in the community center itself, we have ramps and stairs for accessibility into our building to get into it. And then on the right here, we have the library. We have a storage area in the library, a little reading nook. Back here, we have child care services. Here we have a gym that will house stationary bikes and ellipticals that could generate excess energy to be stored in the maintenance room battery packs to power our building. Here we have a kitchen, a more storage area. Then we have a rentable space for birthday parties for the community to generate an income for our community center. Here we have an after school tutoring area. Um, then next we have three conference rooms that could be rented out to companies in the area to also make more of an income for our community center. Here we have offices for the people working here and financial assistance. Then we have two classrooms for ESOL classes and after um, afternoon and night classes. Down here we have the food bank with the large refrigerator storage area and storefront. And then in the center here we have a work area with a recessed center which will have tables, benches, and a glass dome over the top to give this an open feel. So due to all the amenities that we have, this will actually have a great impact on the community. So we will see food scarcity increase in education levels, the financial aid can decrease homelessness, and our, recreation, our recreational ability afforded by the center can uh, positively impact health and happiness of people, uh, provide accessibility, child care services, and uh, a career center can help the wealth of community over long periods of time. The innovations from this community center include gym machines that are stationary bikes and ellipticals to generate excess power for the center and could provide the community excess energy that is generated. There are solar panels across the roof, except during the, around the glass dome in the center of the building, and they are effective for powering the center, and they also generate excess energy to sell back to the community at a reduced price to lower the cost of energy in our community. We also have double paneled windows, so we have a pane, glass, and pane, which reduces heat dissipation to 
maintain the internal temperature of our community center and save energy on AC and heating. We have effective green spaces around our community center such as beekeeping to help pollinate plants around the area to benefit our ecosystem and our center's food bank uses a similar system to the community assistance center that we visited and this system is efficient and supports the local community that needs it.